Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Film Geek here, and last night I went and saw Robin Hood, starring Russell Crowe, Kate Winslet, Mark Strong. Um, funny that Mark Strong should be the bad guy in this movie when I just watched Sherlock Holmes the other night, and he was the bad guy in that movie, too. Um, and honestly, he did kind of feel like the same bad guy in both movies. Um, Russell Crowe gives a pretty good performance in this movie. I've never been much of a Russell Crowe fan uh, other than A Beautiful Mind um, and Kate Blanchett and also never really been a fan of hers um, she kind of is in the Gwyneth Paltrow um, phase for me I, I'm not a big fan of either of those two ladies even though I know I'm in the minority by not liking them um, this movie was directed by Ridley Scott uh, who let's scroll down and tell you some of the other Things that he has directed um, include Black Hawk Down, Hannibal, Gladiator, G.I. Jane, uh, Blade Runner, Alien, a whole bunch of good shit. Um, and to me, this movie does not rank on the good shit list. Um, I mean, it was a decent movie. But I just wasn't really all that big of a fan. This movie is not the Robin Hood story that you know. This movie is kind of a prequel to the Robin Hood legend. Uh, this is how Robin Hood becomes Robin Hood. Um, and I want to set the story straight right now. For those of you who are going out there expecting a... a action movie, because that's what's being billed as, is like the action movie of the summer... Robin Hood is not really an action movie. Robin Hood is a historical political film with romantic themes and action sequences. Uh, the action in this movie, while very cool, is few and far between. Um, Russell Crowe's Robin Hood is definitely not the Robin Hood I have ever imagined with the story of Robin Hood. Um, there are parts of this movie that seem far too modern, like some of the dialogue seems like things that we would say today, but probably wouldn't say back in medieval times, or back during the Crusades. Um, some of the death scenes were pretty cool, like some of the fighting scenes were cool, some of the deaths were pretty cool. Um, I felt like... The relationship that built up between uh, Robin Hood and Maid Marian um, was very trite. I, it felt like it was there just because we all knew it was going to be there because it's there in the legend of, of Robin Hood. But it really didn't feel real to me. There was never really a point when I thought to myself, Sh of course she's falling in love with him. Like, <laughs> there's a, there is... To be honest, there was a point where I said, she's falling in love with him at this point. Or, what did I say? I even turned to the person I was with and said it. Um, I don't remember now. But it was like, there was a point where you could tell she was falling in love with him because that's where every woman falls in love with every man in every movie that has a romantic theme. Um, but it's an unrealistic thing. Like, there's no reason she should have fell for him that easily in real life. Only because it's in a movie did it happen. Um, I don't know. Rob, I was just disappointed in this movie because it was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I give... But it was still pretty good. For what it was, it was good. It just wasn't as good as I was hoping, and it wasn't the movie I was hoping it would be. I give Robin Hood a 3 out of 5.